Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fabi, and welcome to Arrows DIY. On my channel, I like to do Dollar Tree DIYs, high-end dupes, thrift flips, and the occasional Tasha treasure. I hope you can hear me. Goodness gracious. Let's see. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fabi, and welcome to Arrows DIY. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope everyone had a fantastic Easter weekend, and... Uh, I'm going to get started. This is part of the Crafty Creators Community, and it's hosted by Crafty Peep and uh, also Christy from Christy's Crafty Cottage. You've got to excuse me. I'm so sorry for, you know, a little bit late. I'm going crazy today. So for the first DIY, hi, everyone. Let me just say hi really quickly. Today, the theme is birds and the bees. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I thought Crafty Peep was going live after me, but it seems like she might be going live right now. So that was a little confusing, but um, I hope everything works out. After this, I believe we're supposed to be going over to Crafty Peep's uh, live crafting, but I, I don't know. All right. So I will find out. Hopefully someone can tell me. Hi, Robin. Hi, Maria. Hi, Liz. Um, I just want to say hi to everyone really quickly. Whew, I ran over here. Um, hi, Sandra. Hi, Tammy. Uh, let's see who else is here. Billy. Hi, Billy. So nice to see you. Um, I said Maria. All right. Um, hi, Sandra. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hi, Effie. Let's see. All right. So Mary's here. Hi. Hi, Mary. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Cynthia. Wow. I'm so happy to see you all here. Okay. So birds and the bees. Right. That was the theme for today. Birds and the bees. Now, for me, I kind of merge them both all the time. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my other DIYs. You probably have. I know some of you guys are new here. So if you're new, I'd like to welcome you. Welcome. I like to craft uh, every Wednesday live from now on when I can. Um, I'm just trying to... So for my first project, I wanted to make a birdhouse. No, sorry. A beehive. So I'm going to be using one of these soda bottles. It's kind of a trash to treasure. So I think everyone kind of has these on hand. So I'm just going to get started. <laughs> oh, hi, bright eyed genie. Welcome. So I'm just going to get started with one of these and I'm going to take the label off. We just had a birthday party not too long ago. So I have a whole bunch of soda cans and I literally have been crafting with all my trash and making them treasures which I like a lot. I, I like to do that a lot. I find it very fun. No, Billy. <laughs> no, Billy. No, thanks. No, thanks. Okay. Let me bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. So I just took the label off. As you can see, I don't want any copyright issues and I only have an hour. So <laughs> behave, Liz, behave. <laughs> All right. So this is how it is. This is how we're going so far. Now, I want to turn this into some form of lantern since it's see-through. That's what I'm thinking. Now, this is the first time I've ever tried this. So who knows how it's going to end up. So I'm going to cut. I don't know if you guys can see here, but there's like a little line here. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and just cut along that. Can you see that? I don't even know. There's a line like right up over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting that. <laughs> Billy, you're funny. All right, so carefully, just gonna cut it. And it's important to cut it as straight as possible because we do want this to stand upright. Now, the only preparation I've done before this live was I took this um, hexagon from the Dollar Tree. And there it is, if you wanna see the barcode. Some people use the barcode to find it in Dollar Tree, but it's a hexagon out of wood. And I just painted it gold. So I want this to be like the base of it once it's done. So that's what I did. So I'm just gonna continue cutting this off. Thank you so much, Robin. Um, yeah, today was a crazy day. The weather was nice. So I, uh, we all went outside for a long time. How was your day, guys? What did you guys do? I need some crafting therapy, that's for sure. I've been in like this big spring cleaning frenzy. And I need a lot of crafting. I just got notified that, I, that I'm that i live. 
Goodness gracious. Okay. So I'm just cutting all along this line. Nothing, you know, crazy, but you do want to be careful and you do want it to be as flat as possible. I hope this project can be done today. I only have an hour, like I said before, and when my hour is up, we're going to go to the next channel. I need to know who is the next channel. Oh, man. Hi, Cynthia. Welcome. I did say hi. Hi, Jerry. Welcome. Oh, no. Oh, no, Tammy. Oh, that is not easy. Sorry to hear that. I hope, I hope you recover very quickly. My husband makes this tea. Ugh. It tastes kind of terrible, but it does the trick. And he just, um, he boils some ginger, like not powder, like the actual root. And you want like about an inch of that. And then with some lemon, boil that with an apple as well, sliced up. And we just boil that for about 20 minutes. And then once it cools down a little bit, you add raw honey to it. I'm telling you, it knocks that thing out in like a day or two. No joke. Okay, so I cut the bottom off. I'm just going to check to see if it lays kind of somewhat flat. So that's what it looks like. Like this. And I wanted to make like a floral lantern kind of thing because it's see-through, right? So I wanted to put some lights inside at the end. But I don't know, guys. Let's see how it goes. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. So now I wanted to paint this. This is the problem. Oh, hi, Maxine. Welcome. This is the problem. I'm not sure if I want to do paint or if I want to do texture. I'm actually working on another one of these behind the scenes. And that one has a lot of texture. But I want to save that one for a video because it's not fun to watch. It, it takes a really long time. I could show it to you, but I don't know. Maybe not. Save it for the video, right? Okay. So should I paint this? Crafty Peep is on now too. Exactly. I didn't understand what they told me seven central, whatever. It'll, it'll be fine. We'll figure it out later. Cause I had everything set for 8 PM and like babysitting, like everything that the stars are aligned. I cannot move from here. <laughs> okay. So this is what it's looking like. Okay. I want to paint it. I think I'm going to paint it. That's my heart's telling me to paint it. So I'm going to take this color by folk art and it's a, um, it's called honeycomb. And I think it's perfect for the bees. So we're going to take the honeycomb and I'm going to mix it with some Mod Podge. So I'm just going to use the bottom of this, the thing I just cut off. I'm going to use that to mix some Mod Podge. Yes. And I'm going to mix, let me see, not a lot of paint because I want it to be kind of translucent. So I would say I probably put about half a tablespoon in there. just like half a tablespoon right there and now I'm gonna add some Mod Podge now the Mod Podge I have close to me I think is still the satin yeah I have the satin Mod Podge my matte Mod Podge is all out and you could get small bottles of these at the Dollar Tree if you haven't um, seen that before okay so I'm just gonna add some Mod Podge to this and then I'm gonna mix it all up Yes, Tammy. I hope everything works out. Oh, yeah, that happened to us like about two years ago, and it took forever to go through the seven of us. Imagine. All right, so now I'm just mixing it in. I put double the amount of Mod Podge, and I'm just mixing them together. Nothing fancy. You do want to make sure to get it all nice and mixed in. I'm just going to go for the paint because I already have another one with texture right now. And if I still have more time, I could always um, do something else, you know? So there's this. And I'm going to paint the inside, not the outside. I'm going to paint the inside of the bottle. So here I go. Okay. 
that way it kind of has a um kind of has like a it has like a shiny finish on this side if i don't paint this side all right here i go did you say you're crafting live every week now yes i'm crafting live hi maxine did i say hi already sorry it's been a day um I'm crafting live Wednesdays, every Wednesday at 8 p.m., hopefully. That is the hope. And uh, God willing, I will be here. If not, then I will let you guys know in my community tab. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and paint this. I've never tried this before, so this is literally something I've been thinking about for a couple days, and I really wanted to try it, so I saved it for you guys. I need a lot of crafting therapy after the time, the week of that. <laughs> okay, let's see. We will be good. Yes, you will. Amen. Yes, you will be fine. You will. Oh, my gosh. All right. So this is what I'm doing. This is how it's looking right now. And I'm going to add details to the outside. Obviously, this is not going to be showing anymore. I'm going to cover all that with something. And I think it looks very hivey. You know what I mean? Let me show you what I mean. Okay, I had a printout, a printable. Where'd it go? Where did I put the printable? Oh man, I moved it. Okay, never mind. I had a very vintage looking, is it here? I was working on a project not too long ago. And I had a vintage printout. I moved it. I moved too many things. Oh, it's right there. Hold on. Is that it? I am not about to do this right now. Sorry. And that's paint, by the way. <laughs> that's paint on all my clothes. All right. Anyways, it's like an old school. Hopefully you can you can see what I'm talking about. It's like an old school vintage hive. Oh, let me just keep going and then you'll see. This thing has to dry, right? But anyways, two of my kids are teething. So if you hear fussiness in the background, it's probably that. Let me see. Hey, hey, Jerry, welcome. No, no. No one is ever late on this channel except me. I am always late to everything. It's terrible. I run on Caribbean time. I run on, Car I run on Caribbean time. That's what I tell my, that's what my mother and I say. Ah, all right. Hopefully. Okay, I'm still painting. I hope it just takes one coat, but who knows. And do you see? It's still kind of translucent, but I really want to take my time with this because I want the strokes to be nice and straight. Do -do -do -do. Nice and straight. And then if I want to add more features, I could do that to the outside. Birds and the bees. Let me see. So have you guys started your summer decor yet? <laughs> I know YouTube war uh, runs like light speeds ahead. Light, sorry, light years ahead. Of um of the actual world. Like we're doing spring when it's snowing outside. We're doing summer during the spring. No, come back. Okay. Hey Steve, welcome. Hey Jerry. Summer decor. Yeah, that summer decor is in the stores already. We usually go according to the stores. Um, summer decor. Fourth of July is out. So that is definitely a real thing. Let me see. Okay. Summer decor. All right. So that's how it looks for the inside for now. And I'm okay with that if it's not perfect. 
All right, so that's what we have so far. So now I want to add like, I want to add gold and I want to add a darker brown to give it texture on the outside. And where's the darker brown? Where is the brown? Where did I put the brown? Hmm. My brown is not there. I only have my terracotta brown. Where did I put my brown? Is it here? Hmm. Okay. Scratch that. That's not going to happen anymore. Okay. So I have these. This is like a braiding cord. I got this at Michael's a really, really long time ago. And I'm thinking about using the dark brown one to make some lines on this. I want this to have like a vintage farmhouse vibe. And I want to take it very, very far away from a soda bottle. Okay. Where did it go? Where's the beginning to this thing? Okay. Let's see. I see 15 thumbs. Oh, I want the tulips to come up. Oh, yes. Just did here. We did. Oh, what happened? I've been in summer decor for a few months now. Why is no one giving her a thumbs up? Oh, you're so sweet, Effie. Don't worry about it. People give thumbs up if they like it. If they don't like it, it's fine, you know? Everybody has their own their own thing. All right. There it goes. <laughs> I'm here struggling pulling this one. It's this one. Goodness, guys. All right. So I'm going to take a couple of these and I'm going to cut them. And I'm going to cut them a little longer than the length of this bottle. So I'm going to take... Can you guys see that? I should have worn a different color. Goodness. Okay. So I'm just going to take, have some slack up here so I can tie them all together. And I'm just going to run it along the line here. Then I'm going to cut it a little longer than that. So let me see how long this one is. According to my calculations. All right. So we have eight inches. Eight inches. Okay, there's 16 inches long. This one is 16 inches long. Now I'm just going to cut a lot of them the same, the same width. I'm not sure how many. Maybe following these little ridges. Do you, can you see those little ridges there? I might follow those little ridges. So let's see. One, two, three. Start at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Okay, so there's 10. So I'm going to cut this 10 times. Two. What is Jerry doing? I almost dropped the speaker and tried to walk off the workbench right now. I've got to be more careful. Oh no. Yes, please be careful. Thing can be dangerous, you know. <laughs> All right, we have five so far. Eight, two more. Nine. All right, and ten. Okay. So now let me just verify that I got the right one, two. One, two, three, four, 
goodness gracious. Can we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so now that I have them all, I just put their tips together like this so that they're all basically almost the same length. And I'm gonna tie one knot up here. Tying them all together in the same knot. Hi, Rainbow Fairy Crafter, welcome. Also known as Erica. <laughs> I just love her name, Rainbow, so I always call her Rainbow. Welcome. Okay, so I got the knot up there like that. And now I'm just gonna put it right on top. Don't tangle. I'm gonna put it right on top like this. Man, I wish I didn't throw out the cap, but let's see if I could find, maybe I can hot glue it in place. Just to keep, just to help me out. Oh, one second. Just bought some more glue sticks. Howdy, howdy. Glue sticks. I'm gonna go around here. I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue around the top there to keep everything in place. So I'm just gonna go like this. Hopefully some of them, I'm dividing them into four, four like, um, I don't wanna say quadrants, but kind of taking three, just kind of going like this. I just want it to stay in place. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm not using Gorilla Glue right now. So this is what I mean. Just put it there in place, just hot glued. It's not secure, it's just holding it in place. Now I'm just gonna take one of these and run it along the ledge. I just want that feature. You see how it's like, it looks, that's what I want it to look like in English. Goodness gracious. I cannot speak today. Good thing I can never speak. All right, I don't wanna put the hot glue directly to the um, bottle because it will melt it. So we're gonna go straight. I'm gonna add some hot glue to the bottom. And I'm just gonna run this like this, straight down. I am planning to cover the bottom. I'm gonna add a trim to the bottom. I wanna cover the top, probably with some florals of some sort. And then I want to add features around here. Okay, so that's the first one. That's what it looks like. Like this, I kind of might have to add an adhesive here so that it hugs the curve. But for now, I'm just gonna hot glue them to the bottom like this, making sure there's some slack so that I can hot glue this. All right, so I'm gonna do that for all of them now. Rainbow Amaz is what she's making, but <laughs> it'll come together. <laughs> ah, Effie, you're funny. What the Effie? What are you saying to me, huh? I'm making a mess. No, I really, a lot of people tell me that all the time. All the time. There go, what is she making? Okay. And this might not turn out great. And it might, it might turn out amazing. I don't even know. To be honest, I don't know. Let's see how it comes out. And every time I add the hot glue, as it's adhering, I'm just going to press it up here like this to make sure that I have that extra space when I want to hug those curves on the bottle, people. Okay. So I'm just lining each one of these with this. Like I'm just lining them up to the grooves on the bottle. What am I making? I'm making a beehive. Uh, the theme today for Crafty Creators Community is the birds and the bees. But not that kind. All right. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm missing Crafty Peep right now. Ugh. I want to see her craft. Apparently, we're crafting at the same time right now. What a disaster. It's okay. I'll catch her replay. All right. So this is how it's looking so far. All the way across. I'm putting the hot glue at the bottom. And once I add the hot glue to the bottom, I line up the braid. It's called braiding cord. 
and then I'm just going to press here to make sure I have that extra slack in it. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, so then this one here is going to go like this, and it's going to go straight to the bottom. And I totally forgot the inside is still wet, so don't make that mistake. If you do try this, and if you do try this, hey, it's a project that would have been in the garbage anyways, you know? So if you mess up or if you don't like it, just toss it. But it is fun to try to have fun with your garbage before you throw it out, you know? And the messy crafters. <laughs> oh my goodness, goodness. Don't look at my mess. Don't look at my mess. Okay, just lining these up. I really hope this turns out, guys. I really, really hope this turns out the way I see it in my head. Oh, oh no, I'm messing up the paint. All right, we have two more, and then we're on to the next step. Put down a link to the replay to Crafty Peep. Yeah, that's a good idea. I definitely will do that at some point because I have to put the kids to bed right after this. They love when I go live. My kids love it. They go, you're going live? Yes. Because then they know they could stay up past their bedtime. And they like to watch my replay, which is so strange. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I have the slack in there. All right. So this is what it's looking like so far. Now I'm going to attach everything with some probably E6000 and just glue it down like that. Where's the E6000? Mm -hmm. I just saw it here. You know what? Forget it. Oh, here it is. I think I'd rather use crazy glue. Okay, so I'm going to use some crazy glue. This one is from the Dollar Tree. Nothing fancy, just regular crazy glue. That is cute. They like to watch your... Yeah, they do. Hi, Doug. Welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. Garbage tin cans. Yeah, that's so true. You should see how much I'm collecting. My husband's like, what are you doing? Poor guy's afraid to throw away anything. Okay. So now I'm going to add some crazy glue under it, and I hope it listens. Okay, I can't look at the chat. I'm going to focus here. Nope. Let's try again. This looks pretty cool. Oh, thanks, Jerry. I need all the support I can get right now, to be honest. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of a bold move to, to make something live you've never made before, you know? But I really want to make this. So I hope it turns out. I do not want to glue my finger. Totally glued my finger there. It's not sticking. <gasps> Why is it not sticking? It's supposed to stick to plastic. Am I going to have to do hot glue? Now, this definitely works. I mean, this should work, right? Super glue should work for plastic bottles. Cannot use cans. I might cut myself. Oh, yeah. No, cans. Cans. Mm -mm. They do sell that, like, um, there's, like, a special can opener that, you know, fixes it. It's not working with super glue. So don't try this at home, guys, with super glue, because the super glue is not working. Let me try the E6000, because it's a little bit more. Did anybody see where the cap went? Oh, there it is. Got it. 
I'm gonna try my A6000. Don't worry, because everything you make is amazing. You're a genius. Oh, you are too good. You are too good to me. <laughs> oh, man. I wish. I really wish. Um, I'm looking for a stick, but not a good stick. Kind of like a stick that I don't really need. All right, I'm trying with E6000 now. Super glue did not work. Super glue is not doing it for me. I'm going to try again with some E6000. And I just put it on a craft stick and rubbed it behind this little string. And I really hope it works. Is that going to work? Yes, it worked. Oh, okay. I might have to tape it down. But it's working a lot better than the super glue. The E6000 is actually adhering something to the bottle. That's nice. There's progress, guys. Okay. So I'm just going to continue. I'm just taking the E6000 from the cap with a little bit. i um, just taking a little bit with the craft stick and rubbing it behind the string where it makes contact with the bottle. Then I'm using the other side of the craft stick to press it down. And I'm trying to make it look nice and neat. I don't want a lot of sloppiness. I might put another color on top. Because I really want it to look really vintage. I wish I could show you the picture of what I'm talking about. Ugh, it's okay. My inspiration. While this is drying, I'll get up and see if I can find um, my inspiration picture again. She always pulls off. <laughs> You guys, you're putting too much pressure on me now. <laughs> I think I put the pressure on myself going live. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just go under here. Yeah, so it seems like the best way to do this is um, kind of scraping it on. So after you add the adhesion... You're gonna take the other side of your stick and kind of like rub it down and it listens better. And I'm wiping up any excess as soon as I can. That way it doesn't look sloppy. And that is one I'll turn um one benefit of not using hot glue because you can make it look a little bit more a little neat, a little neater that way. I want to line it up, making sure that it fits, sits nicely in that groove of the bottle. Digging the steampunk look you created. Is that what it is, steampunk? Thank you, Jerry. I know I ate those. Oh my goodness. They're kind of lifting up as well because when I hold it up here, it's kind of pulling it up. So I'm going to have to reevaluate how I'm holding this in just a sec after this one. Um, where is the other one? Okay. After I get all these attached, I think I'm going to cut them off of here because this is adding a lot of... Um, it's kind of pulling it up. So after I glue it on, I'm going to cut that one specific strand up here so that it doesn't pull. So I'm noticing here that as I do this, 
it's pulling it up. So after I adhere it on, I'm just going to cut that one specific one up there. Because it was good to keep it in place, but I don't need that anymore. Thanks for being here, guys, and crafting for my ca crafting crafting therapy. Because boy, I need crafting therapy today. Okay, so I'm gonna put that up here like that. And I still have no phone. Spam hot dogs. Oh my goodness, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> if you're catching the replay, just say hello in the comments below. I love to see your messages and I will definitely respond. So if you're still here, I appreciate it. And let me know in the comments below what you're doing to decorate for summer. I'm so curious to see how other people decorate for summer. We're doing birds and bees today. I'm just rubbing it down and then cutting it. I was gonna go shabby chic. I thought about going shabby chic today, but I think I'm feeling more, I'm feeling vintage today. I'm tired and I'm feeling vintage. Vintage. Like that, I think that might be good. No, buddy, you gotta stick on, stick on. Okay, so, so far we have six on there. Four more and we're done. I am, <laughs> exactly, I am vintage. And this is why, this is why I love you, Billy. Because you are vintage and you are true. You're authentic and super talented. Okay, so I'm just doing the same thing. Nothing special. Just gluing these strings down. And I'm happy I'm using my stash because people, we need to use our stashes. We bought them for a reason. You know what I mean? Let's use those stashes. I haven't gone back to Dollar Tree. Um, well, that's a lie. I went and I checked to see if they had something I was looking for, and they didn't. But ever since it's been 125, I'm kind of reluctant to, you know, go there. Because <laughs> I know the damage is going to be way, way heavier. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, let's put it like that. Rub that on. And I'm only sticking on the top portion. I'm not sticking on the bottom portion. And it does not want to stay. And it has to dry. If I wasn't live, I would tape this down and let it dry fully. That's what I would do. The kids are watching a movie if you hear them. They're right next door. Okay. So that's how... Oh, don't. Okay, that's how it's looking so far. Okay. I got two more to glue on. Two more. All right. And I have to hurry up because we only have about 10 minutes left. I cannot believe Crafty Peep and I went live at the same exact time. What is going on? My goodness. Sorry, Crafty Peep. I'll get it together one day. <laughs> I hope. I really, really hope I get it together one day. I mean, at least my sound's working today. Goodness gracious, lady. One more and I'm done with this step. Do you like bees, Effie? I'm so curious to know if Effie likes bees. Okay. 
and I just line them up to those little grooves. So that way I know they're equally spaced out and they kind of sit well right in that little groove on the soda bottle. And this one was the red one, the red soda bottle, the Coca-Cola bottle. That's the one that this one is. Okay. So that's how that's looking. That's how that's looking right now. Looking kind of cool. I'm going to cut the excess ones down here, make them a little shorter. Could hot glue them, but I'll do that another time. I don't have much time left. Okay. So now I'm going to do something on the top. I do want to paint it though. Oh, you know what? I think my brown paint is in here. I have a box of paint right next to me. Just a whole bunch of paint stacked. So, I don't know. I kind of want to do this one. The anti-copper color. It's kind of purpley. I love this one. I might distress with that one. I think it might be cool. Do you see? It's like a purple sheen to it. I'm going to, once I can, I'm going to invest in better lighting because this is crazy. But can you see that? It's like a purpley tinge one. I might use that. Okay. Let me go ahead. I'm going to use this chippy brush from the Dollar Tree. And it's super, it's a little damp. I just took it out of the water. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Not if they're going to sting me. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Okay. So now I'm just going to distress it. Just going to lightly up here. That's not the vibe I'm going for. Nope. That's not what I want. I want a brown. I mean, it looks cool, but that's not what I'm going for. Ooh, but it's making the... I just want to kind of distress there and all around these areas. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one, and then I want to finish off um, with a brown on top. You know how people make things look rusty? Kind of like that. And I'm going around this upper lip. I think I might add something to the middle here. But I'm going to just stress this first. And every time I apply, um, every time I apply, <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> every time I apply the, um, the paint, I do dab it off on this paper towel I have over here. This paper towel should also be in the garbage. Okay, I'm just going to go over here on the edges. Okay, I know the look I want in my head if it comes out in person that's how it's looking and then I'm going to do the bottom as well I wanted to have like a vintage -y vibe not like a gold vintage vibe I mean like an old like dirty old grungy vibe now that's how it's looking so I don't have much time left but I'm going to try to show you what I am going for quickly like that we gotta add lace I'm gonna add lace to it now um, the dirt had to get here to the clover to grow the bees so Billy was here first and then it comes to see <laughs> oh my goodness all right so let me see if I can find this lace Where are thou, Liz? I like this one as well. Where is my lace? Dropping it all to the ground. Because it's just in the way. That's not what I need. Where did my lace go? Goodness gracious. My lace is not here. I have this one, which is kind of farmhousey. Kind of. And then I have this one it's like a burlap ribbon so I might use this one it's kind of the vibe I'm going for hi Nancy welcome hey 
Hey, girl, you're meant to be on next. I know. Are you serious? Ay, ay, ay. I am so sorry, guys. I thought we we went over this like three times earlier today. But, uh, gosh. Nope, that's not what I'm... You know what? It's fine. Let's just do this. Because <clears throat> it needs to happen right now. I'm afraid it's going to burn the bottle. I'm going to go across the middle with this. And, yep, I am burning my fingers. This is definitely burlap. Oh, man. I'm going to go around the center like this. And I'm going to paint this burlap. Let me turn this off. Oh, Potter. Can you believe this? Of course you can believe this. It's fabby, right? So we're going to pop through that like so. Looks like this. Let me get some finger protectors. Okay, let me cover the top as well so you guys can kind of see what I'm trying to do. I still need my brown paint. And I just painted with it. Okay, my next thing is... the trim. So I'm going to use some of this around the trim at the bottom. And I'm going to paint all of this stuff so it's not going to look like burlap anymore. Wait, CCC, are you saying that who's going next? No one? Am I going to have to go next? Oh my gosh. Am I going to have to stay on for two hours now? <laughs> I'm not sure I can. But um, Okay, now I'm going around the base. Oh, shh. Don't burn me. It's hot. In case you didn't know, hot glue's hot, guys. Be careful. I'm going all around here. All around. Potter, am I going to have to stay on? Is that what you're hinting towards? <laughs> How are we doing this? Oh, my goodness. So afterward, go watch Crafty Peep on replay. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to um, link her live to my comment box. That way everyone can watch her live. For some reason, we're there at the same exact time. Goodness gracious. It'll be fine. All right. So I'm going around this like this. And I'm going to paint this brown. I'm going to paint this brown. And then I'm going to distress over here as well. It's going to look very vintagey, Very cute. Where's my brown? Um, after this, I'm going to put some more burlap up here. And maybe actually this one. The same one. I'm going to go around this one and then hopefully and for florals I'm thinking maybe um Sure, what florals to put on? Is it? I mean, I I think it's gonna be really cool, but um, I wish I could find my brown paint right now. I don't. Oh, I have this. I can use this. This is the furniture marker from Dollar Tree. It's a good substitute if you don't have brown paint. This is awesome. This is the, the furniture marker from Dollar Tree, the walnut. That's a good alternative as well. So I guess I could use that. Worst case scenario.
I'm adding a little bit of hot glue there so it doesn't fray on me. Hey, Mike. Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I was going to try to make one of these, but I lost my bottle. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> it literally just glued. No. Okay. That was not intentional. So I'm going to try it right now to paint a little bit of these. Um... One second. I'm going to try to paint it just to give it an effect because crafty people supposed to, I'm supposed to go on next, I guess. I, ay, 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 whoever knows. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and paint this. Oh no, this is going to take forever. I need my paint. That'll give you a little bit of an idea. I need this whole thing to be very dark and then it'll look like the vintage piece I'm trying to recreate. This is just not going to do for me. I need my brown paint. Maybe it's down here. The thing is, when I craft, I move stuff around so often. Is it here? Where is my brown paint? Goodness gracious. It needs to be around here somewhere. All right. I think I'm going to use stain. Because I need this to be dark. I need this to be dark. Oh man, I gotta shake this. I haven't used this in a really long time. This is from Michaels. It's Craft Smart. It was the first stain I've ever had, ever. And it's called it's Barnwood stain. It's Barnwood. So it has like a grayish undertone. I think it's a really pretty color. But anyways, I'm just gonna make this very, very dark. That way you guys kind of see what I was trying to go for because I really like bees and I really like this project and I want it to turn out the way I want it in my head. Okay. We're going to make this very dingy because we want it to be vintage. Well, I want it to be vintage. <laughs> if this is your project, remember, you guys can do whatever you want with your project. I just want you to see what I'm talking about. What I'm thinking. <laughs> what I'm thinking about. <sighs> yes. You could also add like a little beaded something there, like a decorative feature. That would be really pretty as well. And I left it frayed there on purpose. So I left like a little fray there just to give it more of that like rough texture. And I'm going to paint over the burlap as well. There you go. That's the color I'm going for. You see, it's like a very dark color. And then I'm going to go over the purple as well in different spots. I have some of that stain. Got it on clearance on Michaels. Me too. I, everything I buy is on clearance. So if I have it, it's on clearance. And it's affordable. I don't buy anything retail. I will wait forever. And I, well, you guys know I do Dollar Tree DIYs because I want to go shopping. I look at the stuff and I'm like, I will never pay that ever. I'm going over the purple spots now. And then once this is all dry, I'll seal it again with my Podge. But this is made out of a soda bottle. Um, if you guys want to recreate this, I, I think it'd be awesome. That way you don't... Ever, I mean, you know, it's pretty much attainable for all of us to be able to get a soda bottle and kind of make it into like a vintage hive thing. And I want this to be a lantern, which is why I use the soda bottle. So I'm planning to put lights in there or maybe a candle and it'll look really cool at night. I'm also thinking if I'm going to add stencils or something to cut little holes. I was also thinking, I know I have a lot of thoughts, but I was thinking of maybe making like a little dash, like cutting out little dashes like a bee um, is flying through. And that way, the light will shine out of that. That's kind of what I was thinking. We all know an hour is not enough. Now I'm going to distress this way. Vertically. You guys see what I'm doing? Vert vertically. 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 And then I'm going to go horizontal. To kind of give it more of that texture. I wish I had the picture so you guys could see what I'm doing. Why I'm doing it this way. Maybe I'll make it in a thumbnail. I'll make the picture of the video, the inspiration picture, and then the actual DIY. 
That way you guys can see what I'm talking about. Savvy's looking crazy right now. <laughs> well, always, really. And you could distress as much as you like. Be hivey, kind of. Now I'm going to paint the bottom. And we're ba basically done. <clears throat> can you guys believe that I've crafted for two videos? And I haven't been able to get my videos out on time because of life. So I have so many beautiful things I want to show and I can't because Easter's over. And I made another one um, for unconventional materials challenge, which is hosted by um, Yelena over at Blondie next door. And this month it was co-hosted by CJ at CJ DIY. And I wanted to participate so bad and I made all my stuff, but I just couldn't edit it because it takes a lot of time to edit. All right, so now I'm just gonna paint the bottom rope at the bottom just to make it look more vintagey. Maybe you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then I wanted to touch it up with some gold so that it matches the base. I'm, I'm live, honey. Okay. And then I, um, I'm gonna go through here. It's birds and bees, not the birds. And the bees. What? I like the rough texture of my crafts. And then <laughs> Effie's on fire today. Oh my goodness, Effie. You are so funny today. Well, maybe you're always funny. All right. And you could do a, even a darker. I would even do like a darker. But this is how it's coming out. Hope you guys can kind of see it. I do want to add a darker. It needs to be darker here. I want to add like a darker brown color right here. Yeah, it needs to be darker. And I'm giving it kind of like a crisscross effect. Do you see? Oh, is it this way? I'm giving it a crisscross effect, so I got to keep working on it. But that's how I wanted this to turn out today. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. See what I'm talking about? No, maybe. And then this could go on top of here once it's dry. Should I add florals to the top? Do you guys think I should add florals? I was just going to add some gold bees. So for the gold bees, I technically... Oh, thanks so much. I'm glad. Thank you. So I'm going to add this. I'm going to use this bee mold that I love using all the time. And um, it's going to be this one here. This is the bee. I'm going to add hot glue in there. And then I'm going to, where's my hot glue gun? Oh, here it goes. I'm going to add hot glue in there. I'm going to stay on for a little bit, maybe for like eight more minutes. Because nobody's live right now. I completely, one of us got our, our messages crossed i don't know what happened because <clears throat> i thought i was supposed to be on at eight i'm so sad it messed up our plans messed up but it's always something with youtube you know right when you think you're gonna be fine all right so i filled the mold with hot glue and now i'm gonna go like that while it's still drying that way it can go onto all the nooks and crannies and i'm going to add gold ones around here just to make it ornate and to match this this is the bottom and i painted this with the mayan gold by treasure gold it's the same one mayan gold and i painted that wood with this and then for me you were on at eight exactly i was on it i know <sighs> Well, I appreciate you guys being here. I really do. And I'm so sorry, Crafty Peep. I love you, girl. I'm sorry. How did that, How did this happen? I don't know. Okay. Here I go again, putting some paint on my clothes. All right, so I'm going to let that dry. They are central. Yes, they are central. Does your wood-burning tool have a tip to cut dashes into a bottle? Yes, it does. It definitely does. That's what I was thinking of doing next. Um, writing little dashes, drawing little dashes in there so it can be like a lantern. I think it, I think it's coming out, guys. This is kind of like what I wanted. I say kind of because it's not fully done yet. But I know it's strange, but I, I like it. I 
can't explain why I like what I like. I want this to dry today. Okay. Nope, not ready. Too ambitious, too ambitious. That was not ready. Maybe I can continue distressing this. What in the world is that? There's something on this thing. I don't know what it is. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's the glue. I think that might be the glue from the bottle. But I think I think it's looking cool, guys. I think it's looking cool. I mean, from the trash, you know, it's kind of. All right. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this DIY. If you see where I'm going or if there's something that I should add to it that I just haven't thought about in this moment. My. I kind of want to give it like glam effect up here. So I'm thinking about even adding pearls around and then gold with bees all around the top, like a, like a hive up here. I think that'd be really cool. Let me add gold to it while I'm waiting for this because I do want gold on it also. This is the Mayan gold. It's my favorite. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yes, me too. Oh, I have paint everywhere. Everywhere. But that's all right. I mean, where am I going? I'm not going anywhere. Let's, let's just be real. I haven't gone on a date in so long. Like, we need to go on a date very, very soon. We definitely deserve one. <laughs> all right. Let me get this. Okay, so this is drying. Let's get this out of the way. That's drying. And this, I'm just going to add, just like that, just like I did before. I'm going to, um, I'm just going to distress it in gold on top. So just very lightly, just gives it more of a, um, can you guys see that? And that's gold. Can you see? Oh man, that's my next upgrade for sure. Like I need better lighting for sure. Cause this is. I'm sorry, guys. I need better lighting. I'm just adding gold on top. I need to glue that better. I'm just adding gold to it. And then to the top, I'll add some gold as well. Not too much, because I'm going to add the gold bees. But I am going very lightly. And then I'm going to add a whole bunch of gold in the center. Like there. And yeah, just in the center. And not in like any particular form. I'm just putting it anywhere. And I do want it to be bold. That way I can add like some kind of applique there if I want to. And it would be like the um, center piece, the center, yeah, the center piece, like the focal point. That's what I'm trying to say. Focal point. Goodness. I don't need to go. I need to put myself to bed. All right. So that's how that's looking. I think it looks kind of cool. All right. Let me hot glue this side because that is making me. You should get watchers in replay. I hope so. Yeah, I'm not crafty, crafty creators community. I am not worried. I am not worried about that at all. I'm just, I just hope crafty peep is not mad at me because I thought it was going to be eight o'clock and she's a sweetheart. I'm sure she's not. And she knows I'm crazy. She knows I'm a mess. Okay. I'll just fix this one. And my glue gun exploded. Did I tell you guys? Oh my gosh. I have to upgrade all my technology. Everything's breaking at the same exact time. I need to pray for this house because I'm sure there's something destructive here. I'm trying to mess me up. All right. So that's how it's going for now. That's how it's looking. That's how it's looking. Is this ready yet? So I could at least show you one B. There you go. I popped it out. Okay. It's ready. That's what it looks like. See the little B? Okay. Usually I would fussy cut around any um, parts to make sure that all their little legs are are accentuated. Now I'm just going to paint it in that same Mayan gold color because it's super cool. I love this color. I would pour it on myself. I love this color. All right. 
I'm just going to do it like that. And I am going to hot glue it while it's still wet. But I'm just going to hot glue it. And I want to put it all around kind of like a focal point. You could even put it here if you wanted to. Like that. That might be super cool too. Wherever you want to put it, you know. So I'm going to put it around here. And I'll probably put some here as well. Because it looks really cool there, I think. Yeah, you know, I think I might just put it there. But there, that's it. That's that's what I'm going to, I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to put it right on top of that seam. Let me hot glue it really quickly. I really like it. Should I put it there? Yeah, I'm going to put it right here in the center, actually. No. Yes, I am. No. Where am I going to put this? I need a good spot. Hold on. The end of that one is there. This one, yeah, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put it right there for now. And I hot glued that on. Hold it for a while because it has paint. See that? Okay, so that's what that's looking like. I'm going to put it on its base. And that's a hive. <laughs> that's what I call a hive. I hope you guys enjoyed this crafting session. I am sorry that I cannot speak English. Um, but that's how it's turning out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if I should add flowers to the top. Still considering that. Next week, I'm going to be on at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I think. But we're going to be making welcome home signs. Oh, well, just no, sorry. The theme is welcome home. So come back next week. I have really cool things planned for next week. And um, yeah, uh, I was going to say that's it for today. I have to go. My babysitter is going to go on strike very soon. But here's my project. I hope you like it. I hope you try it. And if you do, let me know. And everybody, thank you so much for popping on here and putting up with my crafty shenanigans once again. Um, birds and the bees. Oh, I could even put a bird on here. Boop. Birds and the bees, right? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below what you would do different. Would you try it? Anything you want to tell me, let me know. Um, but I think that's it. All right. Have a good night. Take care. God bless. And, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, thank you so much, Jerry. Good night, friends. I'm so happy you liked it. Good night. I gotta go put these little ones to bed. <laughs> Bye.